On a dark autumn night, a man named Greg was camping alone in the middle of the woods. As he was camping, before he could fall asleep, he heard a faint scratching noise outside of his tent. It grew louder, to the point where he had to look and see what was making this strange noise. When he looked outside of his tent, he saw what he described as a large wolf that looked right at him before leaping toward him. He held his arm out to stop the beast as it bit right into his arm. As he screamed, his cross necklace was exposed, scaring the large wolf away. The next day, he went to the doctors and his wounds were healed. He continued about his daily life, going to work, going to church, and going home for relaxing evenings. However, the town he lived in was quite paranoid as after every full moon, someone was found murdered. The townspeople demanded that they found who the murder is and any accomplices. Greg was also quite curious to find out who this mysterious killer was. He would go around with the village people and try to figure out who exactly was doing all of this killing. One night, the villagers heard a scream followed by a howling in the distance. They chased down this noise and found a large wolf that they called the werewolf. They had a silver arrow that they shot into the back of the large beast as it fell over, turning from wolf to man. They looked in horror as they saw Greg lying lifeless on the ground. While on a midnight stroll, an officer noticed a large group of people running towards him. As he made his way towards the group, they were pointing to a house off in the distance. They exclaimed that there was a young boy that lived at that home, and there was a large animal roaming around outside his house. With his gun drawn, the officer made his way toward the home, looking for any animals in sight. As he approached the home, he heard howling and saw that the back door was wide open. He looked into the window and saw a large wolf standing on its hind legs. As he aimed his gun, he noticed the sunlight glaring into his eyes, and when he looked back, he saw a young boy standing right where the wolf had been. A father loves his daughter. So it came to no surprise that when Anthony found his daughter murdered, that he was distraught, so upset. It led him to do things that he now regrets. It happened on one August night. After he discovered that his daughter was murdered, he let revenge take the best of him. So angry to get back at whoever had done this. The police said that the murderer likely fled to a cabin in the middle of the woods. Anthony got in his truck and drove down the long narrow streets until he saw what he thought was a cabin. He had a gun ready and loaded to take revenge into his own hands after the loss of his daughter. As he opened the cabin door, he heard a faint sobbing noise. It sounded like it was coming 
from a grown man. As he made his way up the stairs of the cabin, he saw an older man crying and laying on the floor. He yelled at the man to stand up and asked him if he was the one who had done what he had done to his daughter. The man, while still crying, nodded. Anthony aimed the gun toward the man. The man said that would do no good, and he said he apologized as it was not his intention to hurt his daughter. Confused, Anthony asked why, and as he said that, he looked out the window to see a bright, shining full moon. Looking back at the man, he noticed him making growling noises, and gradually saw him turn into something.